She asked, asked you. I said, are we still recording? What? I said, are we still live? You're like, no, nah, we good. I'm like, good. My wig slipping off. <laughs> all right you guys so i'm going to be starting off with my base i love using the milk hydro primer it feels so good and i just squeeze a little bit of that into my hand and put that all over my face my neck on my forehead next i'm going to be going in with my lancome foundation All right, so next I'm gonna be going in with my concealer. I'm gonna be using the color Cool Tan by the by LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I'll be putting some of that underneath my eyes and on the bridge of my nose, blending all of it out. All right, so I'm gonna finish up contouring my nose. I'm gonna be using the Patricia Bright Rich in Life palette and I'm gonna be using the color Irreplaceable. So I just do a small line on each side. And then right there at the bridge of my nose, I do a little manipulation there. All right, now I'm gonna go in and blend it out. All right, I'm also gonna be taking that same color and do some contouring on my cheeks and also be using some powder and just start that on the natural contour. Then I'm gonna go right underneath with a lighter color just to kind of offset it. And I'm gonna use the No Days Off from the same palette still. And just put a little bit of powder, put a little bit more under my eyes, and that's the color Biggest Fan. All right, so next I'm gonna do my eyebrows, and I'm gonna use my Maybelline Tattoo Studio, the deep brown. This color is 380. Just take a really small angled brush, and I'm just gonna be doing the shape of the brow first. All right, and then I'm gonna put a little bit on the side of the brush and then fill it in like that. All right, so the next thing we're gonna be doing is just outlining it with concealer. And just press and drag it. I really love the LA Girl concealer. I feel like I talk about it every video, so bomb. So once I have the concealer there, I'll just blend it out. And I'll do the same on the other side. Now that the eyebrows are done, I'm gonna be going in on my eyelids. I'm gonna put brown sugar all over the lids first. I really love this palette, Rich in Life. I feel like it has so many just neutral colors that I'm able to use on a daily basis. But there's enough fun colors to where I can still go to the palette to do like some fun looks, like, like yellow, orange, beautiful pink fuchsia color, blues, greens, but it also has your natural colors that look, I believe, look really good on brown and deeper skin. So I really love this palette. I feel like it's really a great price for the quality of products of eyeshadows that you get. So shout out Patricia, thank you girl. Thank you girl. So next I'm gonna put a really pale creamy color right in the middle of the eyelid and the color it'll just be one of the lighter concealer colors that i have and i'll just put that 
right in the middle. All right, now once I have that in the eye there, I'm gonna go ahead and pat a little bit of a lighter color. I wanna use the color You Are Gold. Take a little bit of that, pat that in. It needs to go kind of right in the middle of the eye there. So I'm gonna blend it in now. All right, so now I'm putting on my eyelashes. These are the CL5s that I'll be wearing, 3D lashes. All right, I'm gonna be using my handy dandy Kiss Lash, um, lash adhesive. This is for the strips specifically. Comes with a really cute little brush, so it makes it really, really easy to apply onto the lashes. What I'll do is I'll just brush the glue onto the eyelash where the little strip is. And I always make sure to put just a little bit extra on the ends just because that's where it can kind of pop up the most. Just make sure that the ends are coated really well so that way you know your eyelash won't be falling off. I'm gonna blow it a little bit just to let it dry, help it to dry just a little bit so that it becomes a little tacky. Let me use my mirror down here to help me a little bit. All right, and then I'm gonna be using my mascara just to kind of blend it my real lashes with the fake ones, and then also putting a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes as well. All right, and I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. All right, you guys, so the eyes are pretty much done. I'm gonna be going in with just a smaller brush and putting some shimmer right into the corners of the eyes. Oh, hello. I'm glad you're not recording. I need like a little. Okay, we just gonna stop this. <laughs> I, she, I asked you, I said, are we still recording? What? I said, are we still live? You're like, no, we good. I'm like, good, my wig slipping off. <laughs> Products going everywhere. Shoot, I asked you. Wait. Come I'm on not, now. Wait, Come I'm on not. now. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> no, well, show them this. They know that I wasn't ready. I said, are we still live streaming? You said, no, child. And we're back. Finishing up the eyes, <laughs> I'm gonna be putting in just a little bit of shimmer. I'm gonna be putting just a little bit of shimmer into the corners of my eyes, you guys. I am, this is so funny. We are trying to live stream for the first time on YouTube. We having a good time over here. It's all love, it's all love. All right, so I put a little bit of that. And I'm gonna be using the color Darlings. All right, and so to finish off this look, I'm gonna be going to the lips now. I'm gonna be starting off with my brown lip liner. This is just a generic lip liner. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna be using this first to outline my lips. All right, and then I'm gonna be going in with just some pink lip gloss here. And I'm gonna be filling that in right in the inside. And I just blend it in a little bit so it doesn't look so harsh, so. So the pink, it's, I like this color. It's a little too, it's a little bit darker than what I wanted. So I'm gonna go in with um, some lipstick. This is Rich Truffle. This is by Mary Kay. I just put a little bit on there. And as a final touch, I'm just gonna be putting on a little bit of blush. I'll be using a really um, light, kind of peachy color, a little bit closer to my skin tone. I will use the color Workaholic. So just taking my blush brush here, and just putting a little bit on the cheeks. Hey, liven it up just a little bit. Get a little bit of color, get a little bit of color. So just smile, you know, smile. Dab a little bit on the cheek. 
And there you have it. So you guys, this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also leave a comment below, okay? Let me know what you thought of the look, what you thought of the colors that I used, and let me know too, like if you have any questions about the Patricia Bright Rich in Color palette, definitely let me know that as well, all right? So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Okay, Tasha, it's officially ended. Oh, thank God. Why did you just keep it going? <laughs> Turn it off. I said bye, bye, bye. You was I not was getting not the hit. I understand, but I'm like, I don't know what the comments are saying. Like, help me out. That's why I'm like, any comments, well, any questions? Then my wig was sliding. I was like, oh my God, please don't fall off.